scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we will bring this hearing um, to order. Mr. Davis. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, in conversations with the applicant and the Florida Department of Transportation, the Florida Department of Transportation has requested in writing a continuance of today's uh, NOPC letter, uh, excuse me, NOPC hearing. Uh, the applicant, uh, as I understand it, will stipulate to this continuance, and the staff is also uh, in, in a position to agree and stipulate to this continuance. The applicant's only request is that the uh, item be uh, rescheduled either Monday, January 11th, uh, Thursday, and January 11th or Thursday, January 21st. Uh, we would suggest, based on conversations I've had, the Thursday, January 21st date to start at 8.30 a.m. at the South Walton Annex, or this office. Um, uh, and we'd also, as part of, part of this applicant's stipulation, that he would stipulate that uh, there would be a waiver of the 60-day statutory requirement for the hearing. And if the if board is so inclined to do so, we would, I would ask the board to have a motion and a second uh, adopting those terms. And right. Mac, did I leave anything out? Before, before Mac start, uh, Madam Chair, because of business reasons, I have to recuse myself and I have submitted the appropriate forms yes. to the clerk's office. Thank you. And Mac, before you start, I want to make people aware that um, Commissioner Jones is not here today. A member of her family is having surgery, um, so that is why she is not here. Yes, ma'am. Matt Carpenter for the Planning Department. We, the Planning Department would request that a resubmittal date of December 29th be specified in the motion okay. to provide adequate time for staff and DOT to review any resubmittal information. Um, and that if that, that submittal date is not met, that that would be grounds for continuing this particular hearing. Is DOT, are they okay with that? Yes, ma'am. They're okay, okay. okay. Just one, one more question. Was, um, was, was the Heath group, were they notified of all this? I don't see their name on any of this. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I have, e and, and I've been monitoring emails, let me put it that way. I've been monitoring emails where they were made aware, yes. Okay. Thank you. And um, Mr. Matthews, for the motions, may I just want to make sure Thank that that's you. your I'm stipulation. Chairman and commission. Um, a week ago Friday, um, there was a meeting between staff and the applicant, the consultants, and FDOT and DEO people at the FDOT <coughs> Shepley office where the NOPC application was discussed um, with, um, with those people present. Um, a week ago, uh, actually last Tuesday, FDOT made a formal request to continue this hearing for today. Um, we responded the next day, last Wednesday, in writing. Um, that we would, uh, the applicant concurred with FDOT's request, and, and we did copy all the staff from all the different agencies as well as the lawyers, including Mr. Heath, uh, all by email. And, um, and I've personally spoken with Gary Hunter, um, the uh, lawyer for the Sandestin Owners Association, and he also wrote a letter that he emailed it to Mr. Davis on Monday. Uh, also requesting the continuance. So it's four different, it, it, it's, it came, started with the FDOT, Alpha concurred, um, SOA agreed, and staff agreed. Um, and unfortunately, it could not be put on your um, agenda for um, last Tuesday meeting because of notice requirements. Um, and that's why, I, from what I understand from Mr. Davis, that why we had to come here today. The dates of January 11th, 14th, and 21st were offered um, by um, 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 the county attorney's office. Um, those dates were discussed with the agencies as well as with staff and as well as with SOA. And those three dates are, were acceptable to everybody because they, they checked with all their consultants to make sure they could be available. So if the recommended date is the 21st, that should not be an issue. The applicant does not object to um, having any type of additional um, uh, submittals that they may make to staff or the uh, state agencies with having a deadline on December 29th. That is not an issue, and we, we, we would accept that condition. And a waiver of the 60 And a waiver of the statutory um, uh, time for the uh, BCC to have to consider the NOBC since we're agreeing to continue it to a date certain in January. Okay. Commissioners, with, question, you. Okay. Commissioners, with that, um, my suggestion would be a motion to continue 
uh, the NOPC hearing until January 26, 2016. 21st. What did I say? 21st, <laughs> 2016 at 8.30 a.m. at the South Walton Annex. Uh, that will be announced as a time certain and advertised for that date. Uh, all submittal deadlines, all submittals by all parties, applicants, anyone who wants to make a submittal should be done by December 29, 2015, before the close of business at 5 p.m. Uh, that the applicant, that the continuance is agreed upon by the applicant and that he's waived the 60-day uh, notice and no, uh, hearing, hearing time for NOPCs by the commission. And that, uh, that if the submittals are not completed by December 29th, that would be grounds for a further continuance. Okay. Motion to approve. Oh, and because we're, I, I'm glad, thank you, Mr. Jones. Because we are doing this at the time of the originally scheduled NOPC hearing, which was noticed by mail and pretty expansive costs, uh, we would not require a second notice by mail. We are continuing it to a time, date, and certain, which will be announced today and advertised by uh, newspaper advertisement and other advertisement. Okay. Okay. I have a motion. If I have a second, then second. we can discuss. Second. We have a motion second. Did you have any questions? Yes, I have a question. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, whose responsibility it would be. Uh, the only thing that I have received in regard to this uh, recently is staff's report and there's a lot of, uh, of uh, acknowledging certain maps certain locations uh, parcels <coughs> etc uh, I understand the applicants application is rather thick that includes these so I don't know if we should be asking the applicant to submit a the applicant packet to us or if we should get staff to make a copy but I think some of what was originally submitted might have been changed during the uh, uh, planning commission, and that may change some of the data that may be in there based on that. Um, if um, uh, Dana Matthews on behalf of the applicant, we submitted 17 pack, I believe it was 17 packages at the request of, of county staff when we filed the NOPC application. It was a bound, spiral bound. Right notebook with all the maps, all the tables, everything was contained in it, including cover letters explaining each of the two applications. It was our understanding those would be delivered to each of the county commissioners um, for their, for their files. Now, what, if that didn't happen, then that's important for us to know that because it, it's no small task to have to prepare yeah. those type of packages. The, and the planning commission, there were, I think, three or four um, things that they recommended. We ordered a transcript of what they had to say so that y'all would have an opportunity to look at that um, at the appropriate time. But I need to know, I guess, about the binders. Um, the, the binders, the 17 packets, were just for the Planning Commission. Um, it takes that many for each meeting that we have to do, so we would have to have another package to that amount to resubmit to the board, or at least enough for each of the board members to be able to see it earlier than a week in advance because it's so huge for everybody to look at. Uh, if, once staff, if staff will tell me today how many, I'll make sure y'all get them next week. Madam Chair, for me, can I make a suggestion that when that package is put together, it encompasses all the changes that have been made to date? Okay. And so if yeah. you're some things we discussed, right. if those are going to be Part of your submittal that that's what's included in the package. Well, then, 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 since we have until December 29th, and it's not going to take that long, but it, because we are talking about making some amendments, if it would be, if it would be, if you think, Mr. Jones, it would be more helpful. I just want to throw that out to the board that to get the package. Maybe helpful to get all of the submittals in yeah. before you put a packet together. So you don't have two packages. Right. After the 29th, nothing will change yes, except sir. what you guys direct them. That's so right. that acceptable for you yeah. to? Well. You know, um, yeah, one thing is, yeah, will the package be substantially different than what we reviewed for this particular meeting? No, you're yeah, saying no. I, I say substantially. There will be changes. By, uh, there'll be changes. There'll okay. be changes. Okay, and those yeah. changes do not have to go back to the Planning Commission? No, ma'am. The way I understand them at this point, there are not in any increase in density or increase in intensity, so they would not have to go back to the Planning Commission. Okay, so uh, I guess my, 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 my comment would be I would like to get a package that is not going to change at the ninth hour 
because um, this takes a lot of time to review. And once you've reviewed it and made all your notes, um, you know, then they come back with something different. Um, then you have to go back and re-review. So um, what I would like to see is the package, the package, with, you know, that's going to be what we're going to review on the 21st. I would like to have that by January the um, 14th. And that gives a week to review it so that um, we don't get it on Tuesday before the meeting and that kind of thing. And then the other thing that I want to say is that um, DOT has concerns about the traffic on state facilities. I have concerns about the traffic on the internal roads and the roads that are county roads, including Mac Bayou Road, which is, which is where driftwood comes in and out. So... I'm not prepared to review anything until there is a traffic analysis done that shows us what the traffic is going to be, where it's going to go, how it's going to circulate internally, because even though those are, those are private roads, it does affect the county. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not prepared to look at anything until we have a comprehensive traffic analysis of the impacts on the internal roads, county roads, and state roads. I don't see that there's any reason to review all of this all of this information until we have that because as we know traffic is number one. When did DOT say that they would have their traffic analysis? Do I have, have not, any idea. I don't have an answer. DOT has not received any additional information on the traffic at this time, so we we have no way of knowing how long it will take them to review it based on when it's submitted or if the applicant is submitting a traffic analysis. So far, we've not received one. Okay. It's also my understanding that Kimberly Horn is the FDOT's consultant that was at the meeting that Ms. Bradley and Mr. Carpenter attended uh, 10 days ago and that FDOT requested Kimberly Horn to prepare something, but they also asked the applicant to send them some documents. So I, I, don't, I don't know the answer. I will try to get uh, at the end of the day um, if FDOT is objecting to the NOPC application, I'm sure you'll know about it because you'll have a letter from them. If they're concurring with it, they'll concur with it. Or if they concur with um, um, conditions, then they'll, they'll do that as well. They've already put a letter in writing to the county, and they will do that again before this meeting. And we will try to resolve any state agency issues that, that, that we can. Between well, Dana, the hearing. Dana, I concur with Commissioner over here in that the traffic is a major concern of how it's going to flow internally and externally to the property. So I don't know who's going to be responsible for getting it, but I thoroughly believe we need to have that concurrency, uh, traffic concurrency study done. Well, I, 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 um, I appreciate it, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Chapman. Um, there is, this is a NOPC application. We will address traffic as, as required under the statute. Um, I wasn't prepared to discuss this today, but I will tell you that internal traffic movement is not a DRI consideration for uh, on an NOPC, only dealing with external traffic and how it may impact the roadways outside the boundaries of the resort. That's what the statute says. However, uh, it is a board concern, and we can ask for whatever we want. Well, I, I, and, and I appreciate Ms. Meadows' comments, and, and we will again try to answer all uh, questions that the board may have uh, in, in preparation for the meeting on January 21st. Okay. I only have one. Um, it's not a disagreement with you on the 14th. I would like to have it much earlier than the 14th. This is my nighttime reading, and it's going to take me a number of nights, you know, because we have office hours. We have things during the day. I, I agree. I agree. The earlier, yeah. the better. So the earlier, um, I'd like to have it as soon after the first day in January as we can possibly get it to give, you know, us time to read it, because I usually read it, and then I reread it, and then, you know, so. Um, well, with permission I'm from Mr. Learner. Davis, I will have it delivered to each of y'all's offices so there's no lag time on it going to. Um, planning and then having to come to you. Yes, I mean, right. however y'all want to do it. And I can do it simultaneously. It, it, the, any package that is submitted it's to you guys needs, needs to come to through our stuff. processing department and make sure that it's logged in and distributed so we have proof of when it's received. Yeah. Okay. Whatever y'all want to do, All right. we have to do it. All right, thank you. All right, we have a motion and a second on the floor. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Nay. To uh, continuing uh, it? Yeah, because oh, okay. I, if, without a traffic analysis and without their, their agreement to do one, 
I don't see that we're going to spend time on this uh, going on months and months. Um, you know, I, I need to see a traffic analysis. So I'm going to vote no on continuing it. I thought he just said they were going to get us an analysis. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. We have two A's and one nay. Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioners. All right. Um, could I have a motion to adjourn? We're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>